Yo, what's up everyone? Project Moto here. I'm going to be having a look at a Multistrada V4S today because we've got one down it that's going to be having a full system put on it, the Acropovic one. So, um, yeah, let's crack on with the video. <laughs> Oh, what happened, Liam? How was your track day? Show me. What did you do? Low slided. He in ran, out, red ran out of talent. Crane the then old air pins. McLean's. McLean's. McLean. All oh, right. So show us. What did you actually do? So broken my little finger. Yeah. Grazed my thumb because I went through my um, went through my glove, and then sprained my wrist. What about your bike? Uh, yeah, it came off worse. Fairings have gone the. Well, imagine if you had a monster. Oh, you've got race fairings on it now, haven't you? No, because they didn't fit, did they? So, this was your actual road bike? My actual road bike, yeah. It was, yeah. It was, <laughs> it was, was my actual road, road bike. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's fast enough. Right, then, yeah. But that's blind. Yeah, so I, I overtook someone in that double left. So, I went on the outside of him into there, and I was just too far over on the inside, a bit too much speed, and I couldn't pull it back. It was yeah. front wing. So, up until then, I was doing amazing. I think he was weird. Up until then, he was rotty. <laughs> yeah, you're putting the map in it. I'm fucking telling you nothing. Why don't you tell me nothing? <laughs> this is a problem, you see. <laughs> this is the problem with video and Darren. He's putting the map in that. This is going to be on a Multistrada V4S. Right, so you're getting all these bits out. This is like you've got a little camper here serving. Can I have a vodka Red Bull, please? I think you've had enough Red Bull. Is it an Akrapovic or do you call it an Akrapovic? Which? Oh, what? Well, the people call it all different, don't they? Yeah, they can't pronounce it. How do you say it? How do you say it? It's like pterodactyl, isn't it? It's spelled it's pterodactyl. Like pterodactyl. <laughs> Everyone knows pterodactyl is pterodactyl. How do you spell it then? P. Yeah. Exactly. This is an acrophobic. Different to that can. That looks very good. Let's wipe it down. Anyway. Let me get my pants off. No. This is it. To be honest, it doesn't look much different to the one that's on there. Right, so that's the can. That's what's going to remove the cap. You want to pick that up? Show look at that. Like. Doesn't weigh anything. You like robots here. Put it on your head. You look like you're down at Brighton on sea. Oh yeah, looking at... <laughs> Whatever you look at. Mm. Yeah, this is nice, very nice. Doesn't weigh a thing. So there are some advantages with this exhaust. How the much lighter thing? do you think this is? Have a guess. I would say... Don't look. Four kilos? Five kilos. Right. So it's even better. Even better. You get another four brake horsepower. Eight newton metres of torque. Extra well, as well. Well then it's, uh, it's a win-win. Apart from your bank account. So these are a little bit of a cost, aren't they? How much are they? Two thousand three hundred and seventy-six. <laughs> you, you're good at this. Yeah. Pipe work. Bit of plumbing there. What else you get in this pack? Cut the covers. Yeah. Not carbon fibre though. Thought there might have been. Mm. All the springs. Everything. Put it on. Bracket tree. Bracket tree. Bracket tree. <laughs> right. So this is the bike that the exhaust is going on. It's nice. Ready? Yeah. Cool. Do you think it's going to make it raw? No. No? Why? I don't think it sounds any different. I'm putting my neck on the line here and saying it's going to sound different. How are you? Yeah. I think your neck will be stretched. Wind your neck in with you. Wind your bolt out. I might say that today. I might say wind your neck in to someone. Don't look dissimilar, the exhaust. But what I did notice is that's got one pipe into it, whereas this has got two pipes into that's it. That's the difference. It's all stopped. Have you done that yet? Or yeah, what? done it. If only had a catchphrase, that's what it'd be, wouldn't it? Have you done that yet? Why aren't you necking? What did you watch last night, anyway? Anything good? Now you're, you're, now you're classed as a detective. Oh, yeah. Yeah, where are you, Praro? Columbo. Yeah, I don't know if he's I'm not Praro. <laughs> you're about to watch yeah, fucking hype for him. Columbo. Hello, Luke. You're a bit of a mix between Paro and Colombo. You're Palumbo. <laughs> Do you feel you've done something? Though? What, today? Do you feel like you've, you've helped somebody? Luke's is waiting for you, by the way. Sorry, are you waiting for us? No, I'm waiting for you, sorry. All right. I feel like I've helped the community. Do you mind me vice? Do you feel you're more of that sort of detective? Oh, mind me vice, yeah. Yes. What's your best detective program? Sweeney. But I love the Sweeney. Oh, do you? Yeah. What do you like, the cars? Yeah. 
the language. Yeah. What branch was they part of? Sweeney Todd, Flying Squad. Is, the, is that department just called? Flying Squad. The Flying Squad. And what's the Flying Squad actually do? Serious Fly. crime. Serious crime, right. Yeah, bank robberies and stuff like that. Blacks. Is there still a Flying Squad now? I don't know. I wouldn't think so. Yeah, you say, grab a shooter, George. Was they allowed guns? The We're Sweeney squad? and we haven't had our breakfast. Uh, was they allowed guns? Yeah. Oh, right. It's SA19 now, isn't it? Would you have liked to have, if you had a different career, do you think you would like to have been in the flying squad? No. No? I, I grew up, one of my mates was in the police when I left school. Oh yeah, he what happened to him? He became a detective. Who he had show? a moustache like this. Oh. You know who else was a detective was Magnum. Nah, he had a Tash and a Ferrari and his mate had an helicopter. And what about the guys with the Dobermans? What was his name? With the what? The Dobermans. The dogs. What was I, the main I don't know what a Doberman is, but... Higgins was one of them. Fucking hell, how do you remember that? Where was they? Hawaii? I believe so, yeah. So was they ever involved with Hawaii 5 as well? They might have known them. See a fella who... Um the UFC pool, there's a fella who fights like you. Up against the uh, cage and the geezer is just cuddling in and he's going to I don't cuddle sake. people. Look at that. That's the cat. Let's have tea. Is that how it goes? Let it down again. No, that's nice. Like that. Yeah. Oh, I'll turn it up. It's nice, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hang your springs on. I'll hold your pipe. Put some muscle into it, will you? Shut up, that is the muscle. There you go. Take care. See yeah, you, Kev. I'll see you all. Be safe and I'll see you on the beat. He's done it. He's done it. Look at him. Don't you just hate him? Don't you just love it? I only video this stuff so Paul remembers what he's done in the yeah. day. Main stand can go back on. Belly pan. Belly pan. I was going to leave that off for a laugh. Oh, was you? Yeah. Let me get it down and have a look at this bike. So we just have a quick look at these two uh, Multistradas while we're here because um, they're both V4S's. Um, that's the red, that's the sport livery. Um, so because this has got the sport pack on it where you get the mud guard and the Aquapovic end can, so it actually looks, like at first glance, it looks exactly the same as the full system one. But as you can see, which we took off, the end can one has just got one pipe coming out of it, whereas the full system one's got the two pipes coming out. But yeah, so uh, let's grab someone to help us. Let's get Paul and uh, we'll have a listen to these next to each other. Yes. Right, should we start with the standard one first? Let's just have a listen to what the standard pipe sounds like. Well, it ain't the standard pipe, it's the Aquapovic pipe that comes with a sport pack. Listen to this one. Louder. It is louder. It's deeper. Deeper. So what we want nice. to do? Very nice. We'll have to uh, 
take it out on the road and see what it sounds like. Oh, it's so hot though, isn't it? Yeah. You'll end up with a suntan like me, you carry on to coming out here. Take a while. You're like Errol Brown. This is the hottest day yet. Yeah. Fantastic, eh? Some of is here. Well, it'd be fantastic if we were all sitting around a pool. Well, I'll load you down if you want. Oh, yes, yeah, so this bike's got some other bits on it as well, isn't it? It's got the indicators. It's got the rear indicators. Yep. It's got the hand guards. Yep. Brake, le brake and clutch lever in it. Brake and clutch lever. Got the reservoirs yeah. as well. And the letterbox. It's got the screen. It will have spotlights. Oh yeah. And it's got the tyre tire pressure sensors. Yeah. It's fully loaded. A bit like you. Alright, so yeah, let's uh well let's take them out and see what the difference is, what it sounds like. It's it a bit of a shame I'm not gonna be able to see out of this screen. Yeah, this has got the uh, carbon, the Ducati Performance carbon screen on it, but I think for me, oh, I will be able to see, won't I? You've got that gap you can see through, like yeah. a pillbox. <laughs> <laughs> right, that screen's a bit better when it's lower. the um, Akrapovic full system on the uh, Multistrada V4S um, it is about 300 degrees out here today um, I think if I carry on being outside here doing these videos I'm absolutely gonna cook this year but uh, so like with this exhaust you don't get much more brake horsepower another like four brake horsepower I think it's about an extra eight newton meters of torque um, it saves five kilos in weight but the sound is different um, when it's just ticking over you know it's probably up one or two volumes just uh, ticking over not a lot but when you kind of grab the throttle and you're going up in the revs there's definitely a sound difference it does sound good um, what is good about that you could actually tour with this exhaust quite easily it's not over loud like when we've done the Terminone exhaust and stuff on the 1260s and things they are like thunder they're really loud and for me they're a bit too much for touring you know it's all right if you just go for a little blast, but if you're going along down a motorway for 100 miles and it's just droning on, sometimes it can be a little bit too much. For me, it would have been nice if it looked different, but like I say, it looks, the actual end can and the covers and that are exactly the same. But yeah, it does sound nice. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the kind of thing you're into all things bikes, so maybe think about it in that subscribe button and uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching. That's if I don't burn myself to death out here. It's going to be shit tomorrow. My day's ruined already. I'm meant to be doing that flight. Oh yeah, your flight, your wing walk. It would have been perfect today. Was, was it a stunt one as well or not? Was they going to be doing like upside down stuff and all that? Only if the pilot feels suicidal. <laughs> what, a four wing like a biplane? Tiger moth. I don't know what that means. He Red did. Baron flew or whatever. No, he, he flew a triplane, didn't he? Did he? I don't know. So, yeah, what, so there must have been a Red Baron. Was he the baddie? He sounds bad, doesn't he? Was he though or not? Well, he was on the other side. Oh, right, so what was our one? Who fought the Red Baron? I don't know. I don't know in the, in the First World War, I don't know. I was just growing up. <laughs> you just missed the call up bit. Yeah. The Red Baron, he must have had an arch enemy, surely. What would he have been like called? The Blue Knight or someone like yeah, that. Yeah, that's what I mean. You can't have the Red Baron and no I one else against up. him. He was, was he nice. a Maverick? He was an ace. You have to shoot down a number of air aircraft to become an ace. Did you like the film Top Gun? Tom Cruise? No. Why? You could have been too far fetched. You could have been Tom. Why? They flew planes, didn't they? It's far fetched about it. It's not like Star Trek. Star Trek is real. It could be somewhere in the universe. They just ain't got it yet. Yeah, really, mate. Do you, like, do you believe, do you think aliens have been on the planet? Yeah. Do you? It takes too long to get anywhere. No well, one they're not coming by bus, are they? No, but no one can get here and we can't get anywhere. Well, somebody might be more advanced than us. Come on, me. We can only travel at whatever 17,000 miles an hour around space. Yeah. The speed of light is like... 186,000 miles yeah. a second. Yeah, per second. So, aliens, you think, have been on the planet? 
what you think they've crashed it? I don't think something would come all that way and then crash. This is what you could talk about with Stephen Hawkins. Yeah, I would. He would know. Well, he wouldn't know, but he would have an idea, wouldn't he? What do you think would happen if you got sucked into a black hole? If I got sucked anywhere, it'd be good, mate. <laughs>